States has a definition that it uses to evaluate anti-Semitism outside of the United States. The State Department has a definition. Our yeah, education right does not have a definition. We have Title VI of the Federal Education Act. Yeah, I have it right here. And we have five Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, both of which uh, deal with discrimination against Jews, and neither of which provides a definition. The Title VI of the Civil Rights Act prevents discrimination against various on base, various bases, including against Jews, and uh, what this act does, this proposed act, was to force the Department of Education to use the State Department definition to, de to, to apply it to determine a presumption of anti-Semitic intent. So anything that falls within the State Department's definition of anti-Semitism, that act should at least give rise to a presumption that the act was anti-Semitic for purposes of enforcement of, of, article, of Title VI of the Civil Rights Act. The Senate unanimously approved this statute. The House, the head of the uh, Judiciary Committee at the House is from Virginia, and he refused to have, bring it to a vote and so it's postponed to the next Congress or to the next year, and uh, then we'll see what happens. There's been a tremendous uh, um, opposition by people who say that this, you know, for one reason or another they, would, they oppose this, but there's a lot of good to come from having a definition, at least for purposes of enforcement, for, for purposes of presumptions. And I just want to mention Kenneth Marcus, who used to be the director of the Civil Rights, the U.S. Civil Rights Commission. He published a book this year an Oxford University Press on the definition of anti-Semitism. Just a whole book, and it's really? an excellent book, and people should read it. Well, you know, Steve, our our credits are starting to roll, and you you've been a marvelous guest, and I want to invite you back because we're just beginning on this, and there's going to be so much more. We have a new administration. There's going to be new changes, new laws, and. I hope that everything, you know, this BDS movement, we can abolish this. Eventually, we have to get rid of it and help the students on, on their campuses. And we, again, Steve, I'm glad that you were able to inform our viewers because, you know, this is something we really need to talk about. Thank, Thank you. you so much for inviting me. Thank you.